unless immediate action is taken elephants could disappear from face of africa within a generation bee population will become extinct which play crucial role in pollination coral reefs will die because of ocean acidification 1 million out of 8 million species are on the verge of extinction forever in this video we are discussing sixth mass extinction which is happening right now here we will discuss what is mass extinction what is sixth mass extinction in particular and what does sixth mass extinction mean to the planet earth we will discuss what happens when even one species go extinct on the planet earth and finally we will talk about how we can stop or slow down sixth mass extinction what is mass extinction basically mass extinction is when the earth loses more than 75% of its species forever in geologically short period of time that means 3 out of every 4 species you are familiar with would disappear off the face of the earth earth is approximately 4.6 billion years old life on earth is 1 billion year old in this entire history of the earth it has seen only five mass extinctions biodiversity and its benefits are fundamental to human well-being and healthy planet as per study from stanford university we are basically annihilating the life on our planet and this is only known life in entire universe now what is the sixth mass extinction in particular it is currently happening right now the name is anthropocene It is estimated that there are 5 to 30 million living species that is 50 lakh to 3 crore of living species in the world right now over the last 200 to 300 years humans have accelerated global species extinction rates to 100 to 1000 times in the book sixth extinction elizabeth colbert studies the relationship between human beings and the environment and concludes that human behavior is causing a mass extinction it took much longer for scientists to realize that humans were responsible for extinction of hundreds of animals walter alvarez and luis alvarez in the 1980s argued that the dinosaurs were extinct because of a large asteroid that hit the earth while the alvarez's theory was dismissed at first it gradually became an accepted theory later however the sixth extinction in which we are all living is unique in the earth's history because it will have been caused by human beings by burning fossil fuels and cutting down forests human beings have drastically increased the temperatures and acidity of ocean water meaning that sea creatures will have to adapt to the changing environment or die out the increased acidity of the oceans have been devastating to calcifers the sea creatures such as clams barnacles and starfish that rely on calcium for their shells and exoskeletons researchers have estimated that in the next 5 centuries approximately 75% of the species inhabiting earth will go extinct at this rate our own mass extinction will rival the last one that wiped out the dinosaurs The current mass extinction has already begun. 865 species that we know of have already gone extinct in the 500 years. Almost 20,000 more species are threatened with extinction. The rate of extinction of insects is 8 times faster than that of mammals, birds and reptiles. Now let us discuss what happens when species go extinct. Let us take an example of bees. If bees go extinct, we may lose all the plants that bees pollinate. Now all those animals that eat those plants will struggle for survival. Gradually an entire food chain will suffer from this, which means that the world without bees and other similar organisms could struggle to sustain the global human population of 7 billion. This population will ultimately suffer from vitamin A deficiency. Now let us take an example of other species. It is relatively bigger species that is African elephant. Elephants act as a seed dispersers by their fecal matter. Dung beetles and termites both eat these elephant feces. Indirectly, elephants modify their habitat by converting savanna and woodlands to grasslands. Also, 
Elephants can provide water for other species by digging water holes in river beds. Now, if elephants goes extinct, the survival of other African animals becomes challenging. Now sum up what happens when even one species go extinct. It can result in loss in cross pollination, loss in water purification, adverse effect on food chain and ecosystem cease to exist if keystone species is removed. We are talking about the entire ecosystem. The entire ecosystem cease to exist if keystone species is removed. Now let us finally discuss how we can stop or slow down sixth mass extinction. First and foremost is to spread the word to your family, friends, co-workers and social media circle. The extinction crisis is real. Mobilizing a critical mass of people is the first step. And this was our small effort to spread the awareness. Stop burning fossil fuels and chopping down rainforest. It is heating up the atmosphere that is creating trouble for all corners of the natural world. From the mountains where the glaciers are melting to the oceans where because of ocean acidification coral reefs are dying. Moreover, policies that promote cleaner energy include carbon taxes, cap and trade pollution pricing systems and renewable energy tax credits. Also, the Paris Agreement on Climate Change ratified by the more than 115 countries creates a framework for rapid shift away from fossil fuels. Number 3. Protect half the Earth's land and oceans. This idea comes from renowned biologist E. O. Wilson. He said that put aside half the surface of the Earth, both land and oceans for the betterment of the nature and biodiversity. Now this may sound too optimistic and too impractical for the country bigger like India but according to experts we are not protecting enough. Now taking this example we can at least take a step towards this development. Number 4. Fighting Illegal Wildlife Trafficking As per article from the Indian Express, a study calls for complete ban on wildlife trade as many of the species currently endangered or on the brink of extinction are being decimated or killed by illegal or illegal wildlife trade activities. Researchers also point out that the current pandemic, while not fully understood, is also linked to the wildlife trade. There is no doubt, for example, that there will be more pandemics if we continue destroying habitats and trading wildlife for human consumption as food and traditional medicines. This argument is testimony to the fact that biodiversity and its benefits are fundamental to human well-being and healthy planet and humans should come together and fight illegal or legal wildlife trafficking. Also, we can slow down human population growth. It may sound cold-hearted but more people means more food. More food means we require more land and more resources. More resources means there is larger carbon footprint and there is more stress on environment and biodiversity. With all that being said, we can conclude that humans are the cause of this Anthropocene sixth mass extinction. However, it is important to keep in mind that humans have the power to change environment adversely but they also possess the power to preserve, nurture and protect. Human needs to continue working to preserve endangered species. Ignorant people like us have realized the importance of environment and biodiversity and value of life recently in pandemic situations. The onus lies upon us and we should act. Our actions or our inactions will shape the future of the earth. Today is 5th of June and every year on 5th of June we observe World Environment Day. The theme of this year's World Environment Day is the biodiversity a concern that is both urgent and existential. This year's host is Colombia in partnership with Germany. Now with all that being said, I want to share with you one story that recently happened in India in Kerala. Pregnant elephant fed pineapple stuffed with crackers in Kerala. She died standing in river. She trusted everyone when the pineapple she ate exploded. 
she must have been shocked not thinking about herself but about the child she was going to give birth to in 18 to 20 months she did not harm a single human being even when she ran in searing pain in the streets of the village she did not crush a single home this is why i said she is full of goodness mr krishnan wrote in an emotional note in malayalam along with the photos of the elephant mohan krishnan who was part of the rapid response team to rescue the elephant so powerful was the cracker explosion in her mouth that her tongue and mouth were badly injured the elephant walked around in the village in searing pain and in hunger she was unable to eat anything because of her injuries after hours of attempts by the officials to rescue the elephant she died at 4 pm on may 27 standing in water the elephant was taken back inside the forest in truck where the officials cremated her